Hey you two, welcome to Beauty From Within. Um, first off, I do want to apologize. I haven't been doing a lot of videos. Um, and I just want to say if you do have a request, just comment below. Um, anyways, I wanted to do my November favorites because it is the end of November. And I just want to talk about my favorite products I've been using. Um, and yeah. So I'm just going to start with my hair products. And... Um, first my shampoo and conditioner you saw this in my hair care video I'll put the link below if you haven't seen that but it's my macadamia product so this is the shampoo it's a rejuvenating shampoo um, I absolutely love it um, I've probably been using this for three months and the macadamia natural oil deep repair mask um, I still have quite a bit in it um, I'll show you so this is how much I have left. I've used quite a bit, but there's still a lot in there. And um, yeah, so I got this at drugstore.com. I'll put the link for that below, but um, I absolutely love it. I mean, I've I've done a lot to my hair in just this year. Um, I think, uh, I don't know if it was last year I tried to bleach it, but this year I've colored it, different colors. I've highlighted it a couple times. Uh, I've gone back to brown and then I bleached it twice and to get to where it's at right now so I've done quite a lot but this really has made my hair absolutely healthy um, this I compliment this is the reason that my hair is so healthy because it really is um, I know it always looks messy when it's curly but I've colored my hair like not even when I've bleached it if I colored it too much like let's say like light brown to dark brown or whatever um, my hair will stop curling and when it's really damaged gets really damaged it just turns poofy and it the curls like fall out so when I have when my hair is really curly that's when I know how healthy it is and also the way it looks um, right now it's really poofy and crazy that's why I'm wearing my little beanie but um, my hair is so healthy after two bleaches after highlights okay full head highlights then two bleaches um, it's doing so so good and it's just because of this if you guys haven't tried it it's definitely a product worth worth spending all that money for okay so the last hair product is um, a mousse and I have like I said been wearing my hair curly and been using a diffuser and if you have curly hair um, using a diffuser is the best way to get your curly hair to look super nice um, gives you a lot of volume and everything so this is what I use from Suave Professional sorry that the cap it has like all these bubbles in it <laughs> but um, Suave Professionals it's only like $2.90 or something like that about three dollars and I absolutely love this um, mousse because it doesn't make my hair I mean I use two handfuls okay and I do have a lot of hair but that's still a lot of mousse and it doesn't like my hair is not crinkly at all it's just it holds a curl really well and it doesn't make it like hard and like gross um, so yeah I really love the Suave Professionals line and this is something I've been using all month okay next um, I guess I'll talk about uh, my moisturizer I've been trying different mo face moisturizers and I saw this and this is really really cheap I mean at Walmart it's like two or three dollars really really cheap um, something you never see anybody use thought oh what the heck I'll try it so it's from Jergens it's called all-purpose face cream it looks like this um, and I remember when I was little my mom would get this and we would use it on our hands because my hands are really dry and I was like oh maybe it works really good on your face since you actually found out it was for your face but this is how much is in it um if there's so much you can see I've barely even you know ha like used up any and I've been using this all month basically the thing with this is it's really really moisturizing if you have dry face like dry skin this would be really good I have dry to normal and basically what I do you're just gonna have to feel it it's first it smells like baby but it doesn't smell like baby on your face so it smells like baby I like it I think it smells good but I just literally this much for my entire face you can see is perfect okay you just you feel it and you put it all over your face that way your face isn't too doesn't feel too oily or doesn't break out or anything like that and it's really really hydrating um, 
you're just gonna have to try it I am acne prone but this did not break me out okay but I barely use any because you can spread it really easily and it may feel a little oily if you use too much but like I said I have dried normal skin and this works really well and I'm literally gonna have this forever so yeah it's only three dollars so I would say give it a try that's what I would say anyways um okay so I'll go to my foundation I've been trying a new foundation it's called L'Oreal true match um, I'm gonna be doing a review on this really soon um, it I'm in the color some beige and that I think is I think it's NC 40 in Mac terms NC 40 I'm pretty sure it is I'll put that on the bottom bar but um yeah I really really like this it's W6 um, it matches my neck perfectly because my face is a lot wider than whiter than my neck so I have to find something that matches my neck not necessarily my face and then my arms are a lot darker than the rest of my body because yeah anyways but this is really good they have a lot of colors so that you can actually find a really good match um they have really good pressed powders also my um walmart didn't have the pressed powder for this color so i had to buy one two shades lighter and i do use it sometimes um because i haven't been getting that much sun but i am going to get the same powder because that, that's a really good pressed powder it's absolutely my favorite um but yeah i really love this foundation give it a try it's a l'oreal true match um it doesn't have a pump by the way just in case you're wondering um, but yeah I'll be posting up a review on this okay next um, okay so I this month I haven't been breaking out a lot but I've just been getting like maybe one pimple that's just like really really red like I've been stressing and I'll get a pimple like I have a pimple right there but you can't even see it and it was like super super red and what I've been using is this Kirkland Signature um, Mineral Exact Match Concealer. It looks like this. And basically it just has this light beige one, a darker one, and a yellow. And what I've been doing is I've been putting the yellow over top the redness. It cancels it out. Because, and plus I, I have yellow undertones. So it does really good. And then I'll per, put this darker one over top of it. Just pat it on. And then I'll go ahead and put my powder over my whole face and it will it will cover everything and I'm really really surprised um, my mom gave me this it thinks she got it at Costco I'm assuming I'm not really sure um, Kirkland I think either there or fries I think this is a fries brand um, but yeah this is a really good concealer and I've okay. really been liking it next um bronzer i've been really using um kind of a bronzer to give me more of a glowy look like over top i would put it like by my cheek and then go up and then kind of go like this and i've been using this one it's called tropics and it's from hard candy and it's their baked bronzer this is called tropics like. um it's they do not test on animals too, so if you're looking for products that don't test on animals, Hard Candy is a really good drugstore brand that doesn't test on animals. Um, yeah, but I've been absolutely loving this. I think it was like $7. Okay, next, um, I guess my blush. I, I'm not sure if I've put this on my monthly favorites before or not, but this is the only blush I've literally been using every single day. I have it on today. Um, it's Mocha from NYX. And yeah I love this blush you can see how vibrant it looks red but it's just this pretty kind of hot pink just really pretty color and I've been loving this this I've been wearing every single day and I absolutely love this guys this is so worth it you can find it at Ulta um, and yeah I love this particular blush um, it's gonna last me a long time even though I've been using and using and using it and it's my absolute favorite blush um I guess we'll go to eyeshadows um I've been using this 32 um eyeshadow palette by elf it's the warm and it looks like this oops sorry can you see that okay that's a lot better um yeah i've been loving this it has perfect fall colors i think I whatever i absolutely love this you can find it on the website okay 
Okay, last is lips and nails, okay? So what I'm just going to say what I use today on my lips. I use this lip stain by e.l.f. And I think it's from the studio line. And this is in the color Mysterious. It looks like this. It's like a nude and then it has a gloss over top. So I used this because my lips are pigmented, naturally pigmented. And they're really like red. Not red, but like really dark purpley pinky and so I used this lip stain to kind of neutralize it and then I put this NYX color um, it's called rogue and oh no no it's not called rogue it's called sparkling flamingo and it's from the NYX diamond sparkle lipstick it looks like this I got it at Ulta it's just this um, beautiful beautiful pink you can see it's kind of like a metallic sparkly pink it's really really beautiful and um, it looks too bright on my skin if I wear it over top you can see right there wear it over top of just my natural lip but if I found out that if I put it over top um, like um, a nude lip stain or whatever it looks really nice like you can see it looks really wearable on my lips right now so yeah I've definitely been experimenting with all my lipsticks because I have weird skin like my like ugh, I don't know if it's my lips or my skin but lipsticks just look weird on me um they either look really really bright or really really too dark and it's probably because of my lip color but yeah I've really been liking it um it's really good color anyways besides that this is what I've been using beauty rush a soothing lip balm in the color pink sugar it is a Victoria's Secrets brand um I've been using this because on my natural lip because it just makes my lips look really nice and it adds a tiny bit of color and when you add that to how pigmented my lips are to begin with um it just looks really really nice and kind of gives it makes it look really natural which it is it's not too pigmented but yet it is you can see how it's kind of pink so yeah i really like this again it's a victoria's secrets brand you can find it there and it smells minty but it doesn't taste minty it's not overpowered minty it doesn't feel minty like it's plumping or anything like that it just smells really nice okay so that's it for my lips um, and last is my nail polish um, I'll start with what I'm wearing today um, you can see I'm wearing green and then like sparkly like sparkles on top of it like glitter so what I have on is this china glaze color called starboard looks like this it's a really pretty green um, I love this green and then over top of that I'm wearing this sinful color professionals color called call you later it's this really glittery it has um like lime green and it is in like a lime green base lime green clear base so or yeah so it's not a clear base so it's not just glitter it has the lime color so that's what makes my nails look a lot lighter than how dark the nail polish is Anywho, these two together I found are really, really cute, and I really be getting into glitter. So I got this one at Walgreens and this um, the China Glaze at Ulta. And another glitter that I've really liked and wore a lot this month is from Wet n Wild um, from the Craze Collection, and it's called Glitz. Looks like this. It just has a lot of pink, um, teal, orange, and um, silver glitter in it. You can see how pretty that looks. Yeah, so that's how it looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. And this is if you want something where you can one just wear glitter and it'll literally look how it looks in the bottle like this much glitter on your nails um these two are really good colors and they're both um got them at walgreens they're both drugstore sorry i was really tongue-tied and i feel like i didn't make sense oh well anyway so that's it for my november favorites hopefully you got you guys had a great month a great thanksgiving um i did i've been kind of up and down doing a bunch of things but um if you have any requests on videos you want me to do, um, just leave me a comment down below and I will. And yeah, that's it. Um, have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.